In October 2023, a deputy on patrol observed an SUV exhibiting signs of potentially impaired driving in Tomo, Wisconsin. As the deputy followed the vehicle, he noticed it weave within its lane and cross the center line several times. Upon initiating a traffic stop, the driver, later identified as a 64-year-old male named Matthew, pulled over, positioning almost half of his vehicle within the traffic lane. While the deputy was speaking with Matthew, he detected an odor of intoxicants coming from the vehicle. However, are you facing injury and feeling lost? Look no further than today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan is the largest personal injury law firm with an impressive network of over 100 offices and 900 dedicated lawyers. They're committed to securing your rightful compensation. From car accidents, medical malpractice, or defective products, they have specialized attorneys for every case. Submit your claim in just eight clicks from the comfort of your couch. No sign-up fees or costs. Better yet, they only get paid if they win. With over 13 billion recovered for clients, Morgan & Morgan have been there for 3 million people in their time of need. Visit ForThePeople.com or click the link below. Howdy, sir. How you doing, young man? Good, yourself? I'm good. The reason I pulled you over is because you crossed the center line and you're kind of all over the road. Well, what happened was, also, when that went over the road, we was having a conversation. Okay. No, I, I get that, but it was continuous from when I started following you, kind of over by White Tail Crossings all the way back here. We were going from Frog Line to Center Line the whole time. Is there insurance on the vehicle? I don't know. It's my daughter's vehicle. I was taking my friends out tonight just yeah. to show them a good time. and. Do you two have IDs as well? I do. Okay, do you mind if I get your IDs? Why? I just like to identify everybody I'm with. I'll give just you my go ID. along with the officer, man, because the more, the, the, the less you don't do, the more he can do with us. No, that's, I just like to, you know, check to see if anybody's got warrants or see oh, if no, they have I don't any special have no conditions. Warrants. That's why I like to identify I mean, I'm people. I'm just trying to show my friends a good time because, you know, I haven't seen him in like yeah. two years. Okay, yeah, that's fair. And then, ma'am? No. Okay, yeah, fair enough. All right, Matthew, could you do me a favor and show off the vehicle? Perfect. Thank you. And then I'll have you step out, actually. Just watch your arm on the seatbelt so you don't get caught up. Lights bothering you anymore? Yeah, that, that one right there is. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep that one on since you have two people in the car, okay. right? For my safety, I want to be able to if I okay. see what I'm doing. All right, right Another safety thing, do you mind keeping your hands out of your pockets? I, I have a bad problem with putting my hands in my pockets. All right, if you want to keep I your hands in your surgery. pockets, can I pat you down and make sure you don't have oh, any? Oh, go ahead. All right. I just want to make sure you don't have a knife gun. Oh, man, anything. I ain't trying to do yeah. none of that. No, I get it. The reason I had you get out of the vehicle is because I believe you, you've had, had some alcohol tonight, okay? Oh, I did have a beer. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you, officer. Oh, no, I get that. Is it just the one beer? Yes, that's all I had. I, I don't know you very well. I just met you. And the things I'm seeing, it's consistent with somebody that's had a little more than one beer. So no, I'm being upfront and honest with no, you. No, that's all I had was okay. one beer because we had something to eat. And that was it. I'm being upfront and honest with you. Okay. So I want you to be upfront and honest with me. And I, I will be. Okay. I will be, officer. Because I can smell some alcohol on you. Your, your driving behavior is a little, I mean, it's not great. But on a scale of 1 to 10, 1's sober, 10 is extremely impaired. I will say 3 right about now. 3? So you're feeling a little, the effects of alcohol? I don't know which one I'm feeling. Right but you are feeling now. something is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. No, it, hey, I, I appreciate that. I respect you. Know, I'm just trying to show my friends No, I get that. Time. But I'm also trying to do my job, right? Okay. And make sure that you're being safe, that yeah. you don't get hurt, that nobody else gets hurt. So in your honest opinion, do you think you should be driving right now? Honestly? Yeah. I think I can. You think you can? I think I can. But do you think you should be? Should be? Probably not. Okay. If you say so. I can do it. I can do it. You can do it, but do you think you should be trying to do it? Yes. Okay, that's a little different answer than what you originally gave me, okay? Um, are you willing to do standardized field sobriety tests for me to make sure you're safe to drive? Oh, yes. And I can't yeah. focus on you and them at the same time. All right. Well, all you got to do is focus on me because those two have nothing to do with this. Right, but, you know, I want to make sure that okay. I get to go home at the end of my shift, right? Look, and I don't know those two. I don't even know why you stopped me because... I just told you, you crossed the center line. What is the center line? That, that right there? Yeah, the yellow line. You were weaving... From this center okay. line to the edge of the road. So that's, that's, I want to right. stop and make sure that you're doing okay, all right? All right, officer. Weber? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. 
Okay. All right. I had a good time there. Yeah. yeah. You just ruined it. <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin it. Okay? You just ruined it. Man. No, I did. But I got to do just my job. You ruined it. <laughs> you know? Just so I know, have you ever been charged or cited with OWI? Oh, yes. You have? Yes. Okay. Once, twice, multiple mm -hmm. times? Just if you charge me today, this would be my eighth one. Eighth? Yes. Okay. Do you have any restrictions on your license? Like a point oh two restriction or anything like yeah. that? You do? Yeah. Alright, because those are things I need to know. Okay. Before. I ain't going to lie to you, officer. Okay. I ain't going to lie to you. No, I get it. Do you mind if I remove your hat for this test? No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> While completing the standardized field sobriety test, the deputy overheard the female passenger saying how screwed Matthew is right now. We'll fly through this, okay? Alright. Alright, so... I Don't worry about them. It's me and you. I know, but also somebody yelling isn't really inviting to my safety, right? Okay. Follow my finger using your eyes and your eyes only keeping your head still. Nope. Follow by... Yep. Is there any way to keep your eyes open a little bit more than that? Just like that. Keep following. Well, I'm following them, but I already know which way you're going to go. Can you go a little higher? <laughs> no, that's as high as I can go, okay? All right, that's it for that test, okay? Uh, two occupants in the vehicle, rear female, failed to identify it, but sounds like it doesn't matter anyway. You can stay in the car. I, 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 have, to, I, I have to use the bathroom. Yeah, so. you, you're not going to do that right now. No, oh, okay, well, all right then. That's a big no-no on a traffic stop. That's why I stopped doing what I was doing. So when I tell you to begin, you are going to take nine heel-to-toe steps down that line, three all the way up till nine. Do you get turned around back on that line? Do you understand all those instructions? Yes. Okay. You may begin. Three, four, five, six, seven. You good? Suddenly, Matthew opted to speak with an attorney and refused any additional tests. After learning he would then be placed under arrest, he argued and resisted, placing his arms behind his back. Oh, from this moment on, officer, yep. I like to talk to my attorney. Okay, sounds good. Um, so you don't want to do the alphabet test? From this moment on, I like to talk to my attorney. Okay, I'm just going to ask one more thing. Are you willing to provide a breath sample for a preliminary breath test? Like I said, I like to talk to my attorney from this moment on. Okay, so at this time, I'm going to be placing you under arrest for operating while under the influence. So turn around, put your arms behind your back. Why are you arresting me? For operating while under the influence. Am I under the influence? From what I've seen, yes. Whether it be alcohol. Why? Sir, turn around, put your arms around. Why are you arresting me? Don't make me? this any hard. I just told no, you. No, I'm asking you. The only you're reason under why you're doing for this. operating while under the influence. The only reason why you're doing this turn is because now. I asked for an attorney. No, give me your arms, otherwise you're... Nope, I'm not giving you your arms. Give me. Don't resist. Put your arms behind your back. No! Stop! Stop resisting. Oh, no, get us a second. Right. Get your hands out of your pockets. Get us a second. He's fighting. You just go. My goddamn. Stop resisting then. Put your freaking hands behind your back. Let me tell you something. You just go. You're about to go to the ground. Stop. Knock it off. Well, you know what? What? Throw me on the ground. Throw me on the ground. Get him on the ground. And when you throw me on the ground, throw the fucking car. Up by dropping it. it off. If you don't stop, you're gonna get tased. Well, tase me, bitch. Finally, he was decentralized by utilizing the Earth's gravitational pull to disrupt equilibrium. Throw me on the ground. Go, go, go. You just fucked up my fucking dick implant. And I'm gonna shoot that fucking Monroe County sheriff. Put your arm behind your back. You. Put your arm behind your back. <clears throat> Let go! I'm gonna love seeing you son of a bitch. Stop resisting then! I am. Matthew then made an attempt to bite one of the deputies. Put your hand Hell no! Your... You're just trying to bite me? <laughs> Do it now! I'm gonna love seeing you mother Hell no! Get your hand out from behind your back. I'm gonna love seeing you mother I really am. I really am gonna love seeing the out of you. Or you think you'll be able to grab his arm? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Hold that. Mm. We're at 1095. Other units can slow it down. All right. We're going to get you up. We're going to roll you on your side. Hey, bring this foot up. Do you nope. have any injuries? Yes or no? Do you need an ambulance? Yes, I do. Okay. I need you to roll over so we can get I'm you up. I'm not going to do it. Okay. We got to get you in that car, all right? No, you're not moving me. No Come way. on. Stop. 
You're not moving me, no fucking way. Stay in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. No. You're not moving me. Get in the, Stay in the car. car. You're not fucking moving me. Stop being a child. Kiss your child. Right, that's right, just just shit. That's right. Leave me here. The only reason why you got yeah, mad because I told you I wanted to fucking turn. Absolutely not. Hey, I told you what was going to happen. The closest unit is that he's refusing to get off the ground. No, I ain't refusing. You, you, you literally told us you're not going to get off the ground. I'm not. And when I get to the hospital and they tell you you f***ed up my implant. Oh my god. I told them to slow it down, not back off. Can I have both of your names and your f***ing um, badge numbers? It'll all be in yep. the report. I'm Deputy Weber, badge number 18. You guys need to stop oh. opening the doors and doing whatever you're doing. You can I, got I just want to smoke. Your PTSD. PTSD. Adam, shut up! Nobody's talking. Just leave the door cracked, okay? Don't be getting out and doing yes, that. Yes, we States are they not coming? They're coming. Right. Apparently, back at down mids don't come at all. But for real, man, do you have any injuries that we need to know about? I'm not talking to you no more until I have an attorney. Okay. Don't try kissing my ass and trying to be my friend. No, it's just my job, man. I'm man, not trying to kiss your butt at all. All right, now we're going to put you in the back of my squad car, okay? No, you're not. Yes, we are. I'm not moving this ground. We're putting you in the squad car, okay? I'm not moving this ground. Matthew, we are putting you in that car, okay? Hurry up. He doesn't want to get up, so we're going to assist him in two spots. Nope. Sounds good. I'm All on right. the plane. Oh, now you can my shirt. When placed into the squad car, he tensed his body and pushed against the deputies. Watch your head. Get in. You dumb. Get your feet in the fucking car. Pull him. Wait, go over there and get him. Yeah. Hey, watch out. Grab him. Oh. You good? My hand's you kick you? Hey, dude. Okay. You try to bite my hand too. We should just tase him. Yeah. I was trying to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I heard 22 and I slowed it down. Or that you're 95. Yeah, He's but. Kicking there's bars. Yeah. Alrighty. Sorry. I'm guessing you both have been drinking as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, those. We're not trying to be. Rude. No, I get it. But on a traffic stop, you guys gotta keep this door closed. Especially when stuff like that going on, we don't know what you're about to do, right? We're, <laughs> We're not. <laughs> no, I get that, but you know. There's priorities. Yeah. That's not one of them. It was just making me nervous. I did hear one of you guys say, and part of my French, but oh, he's f***ed while I was back there doing field sobriety tests. So I would just like you to be honest, because I heard more than what I. Heard. I'm not really sure what he drank. I wasn't watching him. You guys want the door open or just the window? Yeah, window's fine. Yeah. He's kicking that one. That's all right. Hey. Man, you. Yeah? You wanted an ambulance, right? They just f***ed up my implant, man. Okay. Are you bleeding? I don't know. Does it feel wet? The f*** you mean do it feel hey, wet? man, don't bust my balls, all right? Man, don't kiss my I'm with the ambulance, all right? You called me because you want to be checked out. I'm asking you a question. Can you please just work with me? It's probably just best if we bring him in. He was then transported to a hospital for a legal blood draw. We're here. Hey, we're going to get you out. Okay. Matthew, we're at the hospital. Matthew, come on. Matthew, can we get you out here? Sit in the chair? Yeah, I told his that. He threw me down to the Do you want to be seen by hospital staff or no? Take me where the you gonna take me at? Do what you gonna do. Well, you're going inside regardless. <laughs> hey, you gotta move your knees so I can shut this door. I can't move my knees. I'm in pain. Would you like to have that checked out? You just gotta move your knees, man. You wanna handle that so I can work on the Just board? close the door. Okay. As long as you're gonna comply, I still have to be I here. I don't want you doing nothing. Step away. You gotta promise me two things. Keep dick and shit from me. Yeah. Do you want me to loosen him? I can loosen him. I don't him. want you touching me at all. Fair enough. After the blood draw, Matthew continued to be an ass and resisted getting back into the squad car. Okay. I gotta get down. Can I pee? Just all I need to do is pee. I gotta pee, oh pee. God. Alright, Matthew, I know you don't like me, but I want to help you, I really do. But he's got to get going. We can get you a urinal, and you can pee right here in, in the urinal. I'm going to help you stand up, and I'm going to put cuffs in front of you, okay? Face towards the door. I'm going to put the cuffs in front of you so you can pee yourself, right? Does that sound fair? Why? You don't want to touch my dick. You arrested me. You threw me down to the ground. What else the f*** you don't want to do? Lean forward? No, no, don't touch me. Please don't touch me. How are you going to pee then? 
If he will let me put his cuffs in front of him, we can pee. But if he's not, then we're just going to go because we've been waiting. What did I just say? I said if he did that, I will piss in the cup, right? We are the same age. Can I give you some advice? Yeah. Got to start acting right, man. You get to jail, you can't be acting like this. Man, I don't give a f*** about jail. Okay. Well, good luck. All right, so what I want you to do is face the door. So I, I can cannot take... face that door because my back is hurting me, man. What f part of life you don't understand? So how am I supposed to get your cuffs off you then? You figured the f*** out. I just want to piss. That's all. And I just want to help you pee, man. Okay, now you're going to urinate? Okay. Before you get in the car, we haven't searched yet after, okay? Just figured what we got you up in here. I got a knife stuck up my ass. That's not good. I might use it on you. Are you threatening law enforcement? It's gonna be a little bit more comfortable in the squad car now that your hands are up front, okay? So let's get no, you in there. Not. Can yeah. I have my wallet back? No, that's coming with you to the jail. No, I want my wallet back in my personal. Not happening. Well, guess what? What? You gonna either push me in this car or you gonna give me my wallet. Your wallet is going inside of your hat and going no. to the jail. What my wallet gonna do is go no. back where you took it from. Yep, it's search incident to arrest and I absolutely have that right. Man, I don't give a f you will charge. later. You will later when you sober up. Don't get it. Can you put my wallet back where you took no. it from? No. You're arguing over something that doesn't matter right now. You're taking up his time and my time when there's stuff going on not only in we this hospital but outside. You with my time. No. If put you, my wallet back where the f you got it no. from. So what we got right now is called a Mexican stand up. Okay. Please sit down. Otherwise, it's just another charge. Put my back where you got it from and I'll get in the car. No. Okay, well, we got a Mexican step on that. All right. Oh, I just love the bruises. Mm. God, you're acting like a child. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Your back don't hurt now, does it? <laughs> it hurts a whole f lot. Stop. A b like you. Hey, Steve. Matt. Matthew. Matthew. Watch your head, she's gonna open the door. Whatever. Watch your head, she's gonna open the door. Whatever. Okay, watch your head, man. All right, here we go. We're gonna get you out of the squad. Can I help out a little bit here? All right, let's go, man. Yeah, you need to walk. No, you have to you walk. Yeah, I gotta get you out of the car. Let's let's go. Have a need of with respect. I'm gonna hold on to your arm. And he's just assisting you to walk, sir. Is there anything I guys should know about? Yeah, I need my stuff. Matthew earned himself felony counts of OWI, 7th offense, battery threat to an officer, bail jumping times 2, misdemeanor counts of resisting obstructing an officer, failure to install ignition interlock device, and bail jumping. About every charge was a repeater. He also received over $500 worth of traffic citations. A records check was conducted, which revealed Matthew had a suspended driver's license, one open misdemeanor case, in two open felony cases. Furthermore, he had an extensive criminal history and has been causing problems since 1991. Lastly, his cash bond was set at $7,500. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com and check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't disappoint.